Fellas, we live. I'm just letting James Hall in now, and we're going ready, ready to go. <laughs> hey, guys, Bye, welcome, hey. welcome to the Hands Up Radio Show with your boy Trayvon Perry, man. Tonight, man, we coming back for Strength Talk Part 3. Yeah, that's right, Part 3. It was so good we had to do it three times. Tonight, man, we got none other than the man himself, Ernest Pugh, in the building, man. We got Jay Clay in the building, man. Yeah. The Charles Perry in the building yes, with this man. We got none other than Stan Jones himself, man. Yeah. Love you, bro, man. Jabari Johnson. Yeah. Dexter Walker. Yeah. And none other than the maestro himself, Mr. Late to the Party. James Hall is with us tonight. <laughs> <laughs> fancy got fancy chair, too. You know, yeah. oh, so funny. <laughs> Before we get into oh, it again God. tonight, us. <laughs> we're not gonna be we're on so here. I'm gonna I tell you, that. it's light. It's light outside. I'm telling you that it's light outside. <laughs> <laughs> I want it to still be light when we get off. Um, James, I don't know if that's possible, but we gonna work on it. <laughs> we gonna work on it. We got our comedian back with us, James Hall. We're proud to. We're so glad to have you, man. How's everything going, man? How you feeling? How you feeling? Me? I'm yes, the comedian. You. Yes, you know you're the comedian. You, we got so many ratings last week because you was just on here carrying on. And oh, we're glad okay. to have you back, bro. How Thanks you doing? I'm this? glad to be back. I'm great. How do you how do you feel about since last we spoke, so much happened? Yeah. You know, I, how does that make you feel in the climate that we're in right now? Do you feel like we're seeing progress right now. Um, I do believe we're seeing some progress because they say our numbers are low here. Um, mm -hmm. I'm just scared about so many people leave out without masks and the social distancing uh -huh. thing has went out the window. So <laughs> that kind of that kind of makes me a little nervous because I'm still practicing <laughs> social distancing. Me too. Uh, Ernest Pugh said you wasn't. Oh, uh, we're not doing this tonight. <laughs> it's too early. It's too early, and I'm gonna. I'm not. I'm not. That's you gonna leave saying. it alone? You gonna leave it alone? Leave it alone. We're here, Ernest Pugh. You in the studio? You know what? Right. Right. This is the backdrop. Can you see me you say you need me to run and do a song right quick? I got my stage. I got my stage. <laughs> Oh, I said, oh, I thought you was like on one of them shows tonight. And they took you on the set. This is my back from the <laughs> But I'm ready. I'm ready. Yo. I Max, know, you do okay. look like you on BET, Gospel with Bobby Jones. Right. He's like, ready. Back, for He's Jones ready for impromptu. Oh, hey, everybody. We got Stan, Stan Jones, man. <laughs> Stan Jones is in the studio, man. Tell, him, tell us hey, what you got Stan going. Jones. What's up? Tell us what you got going on, Stan, over there, bro. Uh, today I was working with, with uh, Mr. Harvey Watkins and Ken Spirituals, working on their new album, and oh, uh, yeah. uh, we did a new song single. It's coming out with uh, features Al Green, so it's going to be really, really cool. Oh, oh, wow. I can't wait to hear that. That's good stuff. Yes, sir. That's yes, sir. That's that's on and fire. Elated to be with y'all, brothers, man, for sure. Man, how like how that. has this whole thing? been um you know moving you um in your heart and in your feelings how do you feel man about uh the george floyd situation and then you not sh shortly after that rashad brooks and then brianna taylor before that you know how's this all making you feel man right about now uh to be honest the george floyd thing has such an impact on me because i i think that's what really moved the country in this world because you literally watch the man die in front of your face you know yeah. he went from he went from talking and pleading for his life to being lifeless so mm -hmm. i think that really impacted a lot of people even people who probably to be honest didn't have much um 
or didn't see a lot of value for African Americans. Like they was like, I'm sure even they were like, like, yo, that just happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like they had to reevaluate themselves, and it's happening everywhere. To be honest, I have friends, of, uh, Caucasian friends, who have called me and just wanted to talk about like, yo, there's some stuff going on that I didn't know about, man. Like, can you explain to me? Like, what can I watch to educate myself? You know what right. I'm saying? And, I was like, yo, check out Mississippi Burning or the 13th or, the 13th or something Fast. like that. And you'll know what's happening in the world. And they were just like blown away by it. But I, I think that uh, we are moving <laughs> towards some positivity. Like I'm in Mississippi now. Um, I was born and raised in Mississippi and we're still battling like the, the Confederate emblem is in our state flag. It wow. still is there. So it's, uh, I've, I've been around it all my life. So I'm, I'm, I'm just excited to see some movement. If it's a little movement, it's progress. So hopefully we can stay consistent with that. So I'm excited. About that. Well, y'all y'all know I'm in Louisville where Brianna is from. She actually used to sing in my my youth choir. In my oh, church. Wow. wow. Oh my God. You know oh, wow. So I went back and found video of her. Somebody wow. had to come and tell me, yo, she used to sing in VOP. At, your church. Wow. at one point wow. I had over 200 youth in the choir. So, you know, it's hard I remember that. Up. You know what I mean? It's hard to keep up with all of them. And I found a, a video clip of her, you know, and, and the city's going crazy right now. But what I told people is, yeah, you can get mad at the police, but like my pastor said, it's the policies. Mm. You know what I mean? And it, it, it's, the, it's the whole line of what polis is. You got the politicians that are mm-hmm. corrupt. You got the, you got the, you got the policies that were set in place that protect oh, those cops. Oh, wow, that's you good. Got the, wow. You got the fraternal order of police. The reason why they can't sure. get fired is because Kentucky is protecting them. And I've been on the wow. front lines. My, my buddy, Pastor Tim uh, Finley, got thrown down on the ground right in front of me. And I was videoing it. When wow. I, I saw that. So, I saw that. You know what I mean? So we, we've been on the front lines. I'm going to be with George Floyd's brother. He's coming here to protest. Sunday and I'm I'm speaking at the protest with all of the cats in the hood. So I, I think hey. and even for even for the church, you know what I mean? I think what they don't want to hear these cats and the millennials and they don't want to hear amazing grace right now. They want right. to see that we are being the church and being uh-huh. there and being out on the forefront. Wow. You know what I mean? That I feel like that's what these young people want. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I had more young people hit me up and and and, and want to come to church. And want to be a part of church because they saw me in the streets support mm-hmm. that's and amazing if, if you ask what people i feel like you know what what does the church do right now you know you can mm-hmm. do a million songs but until they see you out and see you you know out there with them on that front church, lines man. you know what i mean it's it's null and void what you think you know I agree. Know, in any other words and even like 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 stan said i had white pastors hit me up you know what I mean? And was like, you know, and I told him, I said, listen, let's be honest. This has been the elephant mm. in the room with industry, period. Mm. You know what I mean? Across the board. You know, Absolutely. I, mean? I remember I remember two a year or so ago, two years ago, when I was trying to get my music out, I sat in an office with a white dude and he said, Man, they're not gonna play your stuff on no CCM radio. Wow. But 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 mm. but half the half the songs on gospel radio is CCM songs. Come on, Doc. Uh-uh. Oh, well, that's 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 that's, 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 that, that's, that's a whole crazy. other thing. And J- Jay, you trying to tap into this stuff early? We're gonna get, we gonna get there. We just bad, op- we I'm just open bad. up. Can we warm up? <laughs> All right, was, so, we warm so, already. <laughs> oh, let's go there then. So, <laughs> speaking of that, Bari, how does that make you feel, man? What after the uh, music on Gospel Station being CCM? Correct. I think it's whack. I think it's whack because we'll run to them, but they're worried about us. Exactly. You know, it's, it's more black people mm. than white people than <laughs> black church. We sing this, do all that, and then they try to imitate the choir just to please the black people that's church and stuff like that. But I, I'm not with it at all. I'm not with it at all. Especially with what's going on. And I feel like a lot of Black people are, on, are actually going to pay attention to what's going on. They're going to see their leaders that are not speaking up about the racism that's happening. Right now. 
post mentality. They're gonna see that. They say, like, yo, I'm out. I and that's we, 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 that's what, we, We've been seeing it though. Kirk said it. You look at how they edited him on the Dove Awards the last couple of years. Oh, he said he said it. I was sitting in that room and heard everything that he said. I know Stan James. Oh yeah, we was all yeah, in that room. I was there when he mm -hmm. when he said what he said. And then you go back and you look at it, and they that cut it out. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, they don't want to. They it's like everybody's so you know, ethereal when it comes to worship and praise, but don't want to deal with the brass tacks and the facts that there's a, there's been this issue for years. And, and and let's be honest, all of them that are speaking up, some of them, their family members have, were slave owners. Mm. Mm, and that's wow. why, and that's, and that's why a lot of them ain't going to say nothing. Well, a lot of them ain't going to say nothing, but which, a lot of they. Which gets me back to this. And what do you feel about what Pastor Parsley had to say, Ernest? I feel like um, Pastor Parsley, you know, is somebody I followed for a long, long, long time. I don't think that he understands that what he's speaking is he's perpetuating a system that existed as a result of his forefathers. So this is an example that was laid before him. To him, it's perfectly normal, which is why he had to come back and retract what he said when he thought about the causation effect, how that was affecting us. What you're saying is slavery is this this was good. The fact that we came here unwilling, didn't didn't ask to come here, and then you got all these years of free labor, and that's good. And we're not disregarding your fathers, but at the same time, we're dismantling the the situation because of what your forefather statues mean in our heads and our minds. Mm. Why don't you put a statue up of some of our forefathers that did great things? the inventions that they made. So I think once we got him to come to the table and see how the, what the causation effect was, he had to retract, but he also had to go and educate himself. So I, I applaud it, uh, but at the same time, I had to take a minute because I just, I, I know I've sold into it. I've sold multiplied thousands of dollars into people who don't look like me uh, because wow. of the word that they were preaching, but I didn't understand it. Mm -hmm. I need to trace it back to the root. Don't pluck the fruit, trace it back to the root. What is your upbringing? What are your beliefs? What are the things that you hold to be true? And to a lot of them, slavery they thought was cool. You heard the one guy say, "It's not a curse; it's a blessing. It's, right. it's not. I heard it's that. It's not privilege. It's a what? it's That's, a white blessing. It's not white insane. privilege." I could, what? I was like, "Are you kidding?" And and I've sold insane. money there. Yeah, Charlie, but this is did, what they hold to be true. How did you feel about Lecrae's response to that, Charlie? And Jabari, right after that, I'm sorry. Did he respond? You, yeah. you know what? I was a bit confused on the response. <laughs> you know? I, 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 no, no, y'all. When, when you say response, response is direction. It's an answer. But when you go around something, that's not a response. I just think okay. that he wanted to play safe. And just like a lot of the, these artists, they don't want to hurt their pockets. Come on. Because that's what it people is. People want to that's stay face to keep a gig. And right now, um, with the state of the world, man, and on behalf of my brothers and sisters, man, this is affecting us all. And yeah, what, what hurts me, guys, is when I see other races fighting for us more than our own, I have that's a problem. Good. That's a problem. That's I, a I really do. I That's really do. And when you, you know, I believe it was um, Dr. King that said, speak the truth even when your voice shakes. Wow. And if you cannot speak the truth at a moment of bloodshed, then when do you speak it? Right. Come on. Do, do you speak it when it's your son? Yes. Yeah. You yeah. That's your when daughter? they do it. Yeah. Do yeah. you speak it when it's your 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 choir members or your pastor? Yeah. Because I'm a bit confused on That's why good, he man. couldn't come forth with an answer. Come That's on. That's my problem. And and I, I I'm gonna tell you this. This this COVID um pandemic, along with racism and segregation, what's going on and police brutality has really exposed what we really stand for. Come on, Ooh. man. I believe. <laughs> I believe that this pandemic has been our revivalists. Come on. And it's man. causing us to really see 
what's going on. Because you out who's who. I'm online and we're more concerned about everything but the truth. Right. Yeah. And yeah. I have a problem. You know, I was telling um fellas, I was speaking to my 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 little brothers about the artists of yesteryear, the Aretha Franklins, the Sam Cook. They were so in tune with what was going on in their time. They knew the yeah. songs to sing. They knew what to speak. And it just seems like we're so disconnected. Come on, yeah. man. And yeah. that, they were in that tune tonight, with civil rights. Yeah, they were in tune with yeah. civil rights. They were and a part they, of and, it. And it wasn't, and God, right. guys, it part. wasn't an act. It wasn't an act. Was, and we didn't have to wait hard, for an though. emergency. Come on, we didn't have good. to wait for an emergency to be civil rights because some of us been marching a long time. Yeah. <laughs> some of us been marching a long time, guys. My grandfather was one of the first victims of police brutality he before sure was. a Rodney King. I'm not trying to be funny. He was one wow. of the first major profile cases. Okay, so my family went through it. And to see all of these families that are suffering, and we're more so less concerned about product, I got a problem with that. Me too. All right, I really that, do. That's the look, next thing. That's the next look, thing. We Some people, ha I'm, a, I'm sorry, Jay, I'm going to let you jump no, in. No, you're good. But J Jabari, you, I hope you put a footnote where you're at, because we you, one person that didn't even get a chance to breathe yet, I got to let him in. Dexter. Dex, tell us, t Dexter, tell us how you're feeling, and then we're going to jump right to Jabari. Uh, about Pastor Parsley's statement? About everything in totality with what's happening, you know, what's going on in your mind when you see well, what's happening. Well, what I what I, I like about now is that I see the, uh, the togetherness and the unity. Um, you know, a lot of us wasn't thinking about this before, you know, I mean, we, we know that uh, people are racist, but, you know, it just, we wasn't really thinking about it that much until now. And uh, I'm glad that we all are coming together, um, you know, yeah. just coming together. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy to see that. Happy to see that. There you go. Bari? Say what you mean the first time and you won't have to come back and apologize is what I got to say. Because wow. you got all these pastors, mm -hmm. you, got, mm -hmm. you got, what's his name? Uh, we were just talking about him. Parsley. Right, Parsley. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you say all this stuff and then you come back and apologize. And then you got this lady on Instagram that was up here talking about, I'm going to teach my kids to hate y'all with the Confederate flag on her back Insane. and on her truck and all that. And then you she meant back, that. You want to you want back though and apologize once you lose your job. Right. That's dumb to me. If you, that's insane. You the first, everybody else apologizes. Let me take my glasses the first out. Time they let it come out their mouth. <laughs> yeah. You mean it. Like if you I mean, mean it. Or you if mean I, it. If I stand for something, when I go out there and I got, and I'm out there protesting and I say Black Lives Matter, I mean it. When you're out there with the Confederate flag saying pretty much forget Black people, I hate Black people mm -hmm. and all this You stuff mean like it. That, you mean Listen, it. Now you want to back go because you done lost your job and people are coming after you and stuff like that. No, you mean what you said the first time. I ain't got nothing to say to you. That's it. Mama, Can I say mama, something? Go ahead. My mama. Um, so, so my mom used to always say that what <laughs> comes out of your mouth eventually is that it's what was in your heart abundantly. In other words, wow. I'm doing something hard. Yep, that's so good. God speaks. What's in your heart abundantly comes out of your mouth eventually. Although you came back and reshaped it, that stuff still is going to, those layers that you're dealing Most with, you, it's going to take you a long time to deal with this. So although you make a statement, let's wait and see what your actions are over the next several years. Mm -hmm. let me let me tell you something okay. they don't want to they don't want to they don't want to talk about it because they realize that they owe us so mm. true they owe us 401 so years we worked without a paycheck mm. and the fact of the matter is this we ain't we ain't it ain't this generation now they don't mm -hmm. care about they won't they want what's theirs that's right. why I support, that's why I support ADOS American descendants of slaves, because at the end of the day, you owe us. You made us work. You, we built this country. So true. We we built this industry. We built it all. Y'all y'all mm -hmm. y'all fed off of us. You all exactly. pulled from us. You can't do what you do without a black person on your staff. Sure, let's be one hundred about it. That's exactly. You you want you want it. you want our flavor. 
You won't that's fight. Right. You that's say, oh, oh, I need to get a, I need to get a B three in there. Come you know on I mean? up in here, brother. And the and the mm-hmm. thing about it is, is, is you owe us, and now you exactly. gonna have to pay us. You paid every other nationality in this mm. country that you brought here. You paid the Chinese, and they didn't like us. You paid the Native Americans, and you stole from them when they first came in. You paid everybody else, but the ones who built the United States of America. And at the exactly. end of the day, you owe us, and you gonna pay us, or or, or it's gonna be World War Three. I feel yeah. I feel you on that one. My pastor always says we we built the wall on Wall Street. Doctor Bond he's said right. that right. he's right. for free ninety nine. Right. We and built right. this joint for free. I think for it's free. crazy that you can you can hire a black person on your staff as a white pastor. You like the gift that God has given me, but you don't like the person that God has made. That is stupid to me. That's crazy. That's dumb. How is it that you like? I can play for you. I can play on your record. Yeah. I can sing. I can sing and lead people to the presence of God. But at the end of the day, he just a nigger. You still, um, you still a black man. You still a black man. On, at bro. the end of the Let's day, let's change those wow. split sheets. Change those split sheets. Exactly. <laughs> man, listen. I got to hold my tongue because I'm. I'm a. I'm gonna start talking hood. Yeah, and, I, but I'm make you sure. know, I, I <laughs> What's love. Up, Jason? I love. I, you know what? We got all t- types of different brothers here. You got you got some street. You got the conservative like James Hall. You got <laughs> where? <laughs> where? I think, James I think, is conservative. I think he's James a Republican. No, I, James is hood. I, I think he's a Republican. I think. James? I'm not sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. That. Okay, whatever. Don't put that foolishness out there. Don't, don't do that. that. All right, all right. Nice. I'm sorry. Don't put him outside my door. <laughs> <laughs> God is not in control anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, devil. God. Yo, you know what's crazy? James Hall did a music video, the remix to God is in control with the picket side. Do you see how? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. that was? Yeah, that's yeah. nuts. This so would have been the time to be down there. Y'all should have do a, a part three. He makes part he three. Need to. <laughs> he need to. <laughs> so Fair we're topic. Well, I'm, 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 we're off topic, but listen, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go all around the place tonight. Stay on topic. Stay on topic. <laughs> tonight, moving, moving. I, I mean, this topic, it gets touchy. It gets touchy. Uh-huh. I didn't even. I didn't plan on us. Go, going in on it that long, but it's just real, real talk. And I, but I have to give it up to some of our Caucasian brothers and sisters because yeah. I yeah. see when I look into the protest, I'm seeing more white people than black some, in some states. Yeah, but you know yeah. what's amazing about that? We've been saying Black Lives Matter for over a decade, mm-hmm. and it's just now resonating. And that's mm-hmm. something what transpired with with Floyd, and it's because. God put the whole world on pause yeah, and said, no, you're going to sit at your TV, no concerts, no sports yep. events, nothing is going to captivate your attention other than what's going on with policing right now. And that's only a sovereign God, the hand of God can really do something like that. We've been saying Black Lives Matter forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? mm-hmm. That's true. That's true. Now it matters. Yeah. Now it matters. Sure and does. now we got to step up and, sure and do it. And and if any anybody else want to tackle something before we yeah. move on to the next, well, part. I think I think because everybody else now I think they understand what black uh, uh, black lives matter mean. Correct. They yeah. understand what that means. Right. And those who say they don't understand, they really understand, but they don't want to accept it. Right. You, you're right. Can I just they say feel like it's going to say? take. They feel like it's going to take something away from them. Right. Mm. Can I just can I piggyback off some Sam Jones said uh, earlier? A lot of my Caucasian brothers have been calling me too, and I think they sincerely they just were oblivious to a lot of what has been transpiring right. in the last several years. Yeah, so what I've said, mm-hmm. what I've said to my Caucasian brothers and sisters is, I said, "Thank you for the call." I said, "The best thing you can mm-hmm. do is educate yourself. If you can go read on the Black Wall Street, anything from James Baldwin." Uh, James yep. Crow, and just educate yourself, number one. And then number two, do your part to dismantle the systemic Amen. racism that Amen. we've gone through for the last several years. So I love them. I'm embracing them. But you got to yeah. educate yourself so yeah, that you, you can to. become sensitized so good. to what we've been talking about. Right. Uh, Ernest, Ernest is there. I, I want to say something right quick. Do you think... I'm sorry. Go, 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 do you, 
We have to borrow. Do you think that you can live in America this long and not know that racism exists? Because yeah, people keep right. saying that people people right. are don't know. I'm like, I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, Some people I had no clue. I had no clue that was going on. It's a lot of people, like, even in the on. movies. That's a lot of people, y'all. They are oblivious. They're like people oh, are oblivious, really? though. They're oblivious. We we gonna touch on that one quick. I'm um, real quick. Stan, go ahead. Yeah, I wanted to say right quick uh, um, to piggyback on something that Jabari said about our talents and gifts. The truth is, the, uh, the truth of the matter is, is that. Years and years ago, when we couldn't go in the same bathrooms or nowhere else mm -hmm. as, as those people, they were letting us in with our instruments and stuff to entertain yeah. them. Through the back door. If you really uh, think about it. That's been happening for centuries. Yeah. So, uh, mm -hmm. that was the nothing norm. has changed, uh, the, to tell you the truth, on that matter. Nothing has changed at all. Well, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going I'm to say this. You, It's not just Black Lives Matter. It's Black Power. Because yeah. we have a lot of power behind us, and the way the way you um, you know pop the balloon and let the air seep out is what you do. You put drugs in the community, you put guns in the community, yep. you put all of these things, and you make me forget. You make me pay attention to the fact that I'm homeless and that. I, mm -hmm. and, and, and that I can't get the best job, and you deflate my power. Yeah, inflate my power, and now what's happening is everybody is starting to realize how much power we have. Mm -hmm. Like they took, they they took the black dollar thing, and we take our money away. Half of these companies are not gonna have nothing. Right now, but, you know but, I mean? can I, but guess yeah, what? Yeah. Hold it's on, not so much about. Hold on, real but quick. I think more because so I, than I, black I, lives. Go ahead. I want to touch on this real quick. I don't want to lose that because I was this is what I was getting ready to happen to because I've seen a clip and it really, really peed me off where you see these black successful people. Mm. It's a clip of them. It's Morgan Freeman, Lil Wayne, and um, the other dude um, who played Captain America's sidekick. I can't think of his name. Anyway, there's a clip of these black men talking about pushing a narrative of black on black crime and, and, and or do you know, because they were asked, the question was asked pretty much, do you believe in racism? Do you believe that the white man is keeping you down? And Morgan Freeman said, that's bull crap. He exactly. said, he speaking of, he, he's speaking to Don Lemon. He said, look at you and I, there are successful black people out there. All you gotta do is push. Which is basically, I'm guessing what you're saying, these other black people that are not successful are just lazy. Or what are you? What, what is the narrative you're trying to push here? Because you can't be saying that all of the same opportunities that are afforded our Caucasian brothers and sisters are always afforded to us. Equal, so I want to know right. what do y'all feel about that? About other blacks that push that narrative, and also other blacks that are out here co-signing with the white, with some of the white supremacy people, saying, "Well, if you check the stats." There are actually more white people dying by the hands of police than there is black people. What do y'all have to say about that? Mm -mm. Well, first I of all, it so goes. Much. That's why when we say Black Lives Matter, I go beyond that. We mm -hmm. know that Black Lives Matter. The question is, are the Black lives equal to white lives? And everybody mm -hmm. else, because the mm -hmm. ultimate goal, the ultimate goal is equality. I want my exactly. children to be able to go to the same college as you. And once they matriculate through that academic institution, will they be redlined when they get ready to buy their house? Or will they be able to live in a neighborhood right. that their money that's commensurate to the level of where their financial status is? So I don't think we want to just, you know, and I understand Black Lives Matter. I say it all day long. But the bottom line is I, my dog's <laughs> life matters because mm -hmm. my dog protects me. <laughs> So it's not a matter of the life matter, is the, is the life equal? And so I don't think that they can stop us. I think freedom is a mindset, it's a mentality. Mm -hmm. So it's a man thinking, so is he. I could be in America, I could be in wherever, any continent I'm in, my mindset is that I'm free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's great, that, that's, that's good right there. Well, tapping into to that, um, bro, me and you was having a personal conversation, Charlie. Um, about the type of stuff 
us as minstrels um, should be doing right now. And how I've, I've watched the, uh, and shout out to Jabari Johnson, you did an awesome job. We saw you uh, sing at the funeral uh, services for Brother George Floyd. Uh, brother awesome. George Floyd, awesome, and you, you did amazing. You did amazing. Um, you were great, man. But I do want to say, I do want to say this, and this is no shot at anybody, but this is mm -hmm. not a time for people to be trying to get gigs off of tragic tragedy. And, exactly. And and instead yeah. of us pushing the narrative for what happened, we over here talking about saying so and so and so and so killed it and ripped it. Why do church? People do that. Why, why wait, 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 wait. You said that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's called encouragement. No, that's what called? it's called. Oh, okay, okay. You understand. Right. So you, you so you find nothing encourage. wrong with it. I don't okay. see nothing wrong with it because if they singing well, good, sure. I'm gonna say you sing good. No, no, I'm not <laughs> saying that's that's not what we that's not what we saying. That's not what, what we saying. saying. No, but but what I'm trying He's to say, so is push the narrative. Go ahead, Charlie. I, I think what you're trying to say is people that use calamity as a platform. That's what Correct. you're trying okay. to say. There's a, there's a difference That's in supporting an Correct. artist singing and mm -hmm. artists using calamities as showcases. I think mm -hmm. that's what, we, what we're talking about here. That's what, you, that's what yeah. you're saying. How can you tell who's doing which though? Well, we, you, we can tell. We can tell. You can tell. You can tell you can the, tell. the spirit. Do you want to do? Oh, he, oh, oh, he yeah, wants us to go in. Okay, so he I wants us to yeah. talk about how. Well, you no, know, you can how. tell <laughs> by the spirit of the individual. Yeah, it, it it goes by the spirit of the individual. You know who's sincerely doing something. Right. I just think at a time like this, we just have to be sensitive mm -hmm. to these because we got to remember Trayvon more than anything. These families are hurting. When all right. of this stuff is over, these families are still going to be hurting. For and you. that's I, what it, I, it really I watched, is. I watched Brianna's mom's interview on The Breakfast Club. Mm. And I could not get through it. For the simple fact is, this, this woman lost her daughter. Her daughter. Mm. Her daughter for, for no reason. No, mm, mm, mm. It, and and the fact of the matter is, is they this state has not locked them cops up yet. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. and, and which these is crazy. families, which is crazy, and it's like I go back to it's the policies that are put in place. So another thing is, like I said about power, is we got to get out and vote. You we know, have to. You, you, you can't go and just vote for the president of the United States. Mm -hmm. You gotta Local vote officials. locally and make sure mm -hmm. that the officials that you are voting for locally are for the community. Are for the community. Large, are for the mm. community. And I watched that, man, and it, it hurt me, man, with tears in my eyes because like you said, Charles, he, these families are hurting. They're really hurting. Yeah. After after it's all serious. the fanfare happens mm -hmm. and everything yeah. subsides, and the hype dies, I gotta live with it. And the hype mm -hmm. dies. Like Gotta I saw somebody adjustment. post her Brianna's name is not trending anymore. You know what I mean? That's it, crazy. It's not the fact of that. It's not a trend. It's the fact. Do, that, bro, do you think that that's the case? Because I want to say I've been seeing marches. The marches is still going on. Yeah, but, but, they, right but they're now. not. But they're not being like Jada Pinkett and Common and all of them were here in Lexington, Kentucky, marching. I saw Frankfurt, that. Yeah, saw marching that. today. So they're still marching, but the media and the presence of the media right. is not really taking a hold of it because they try trying to change the energy now. They that, focus on election. That's why. Yeah, they're you trying know, they to focus, change yeah, the narrative, and derail that's us. That's good. Yeah, and what and, is and we got that's we got us both. Right. And we got to mm -hmm. keep yep. the main thing, the main thing. Like, mm -hmm. no, nah, y'all not gonna move this out of the way. Like this exactly. is just secondary. Mm -hmm. You know, we well, I have to this. commend them for that voting situation. That whatever venue that was, the shut down early. Kentucky was not trying to play. Oh, they not. <laughs> yeah. I saw that. Let me tell you something. It's, it's it's a lot of black folks here, and we they not playing. They not playing. Yeah. And 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 actually, Charles Booker is ahead now. You know, wow. with the electoral votes, so Good. you know, Good. you know, what I'm saying like it, it, it matters, and I think that that's what they don't want us to see. 
to it's see. Like, yeah. you, they don't want to. They don't want <laughs> us to, like you say in church, access the power, the power that is mm. on the inside of us. They don't want to see the power or the numbers because those yeah. numbers were the num and numbers were don't number numbers they don't, don't lie. lie. They don't tell the whole story neither, but numbers do not lie. They sure enough and, don't. And I want to I want to tap into that a little bit, but I, I got to get into this to this statement that um, I shout out to my bishop, Dr. Kevin Bond, who's on tonight. Ernest hey, Pugh, Dr. I believe. Bond. Ernest Dr. Pugh, Dr. And, that's, and, that, and that's funny that you'd be the first one to speak because I believe he's directing his comment towards you tonight. He said, we are not going to compare a dog's life to that of a human. We must be careful. <laughs> I don't know what I'm he saying. said. We well, hold on. Let me finish the statement. <laughs> James, oh. shut up. He said, he said we must be careful with that. In other words, they have treated us as dogs, and I can hear him reading. I can hear him saying this. They have treated us as dogs. So the only reason why we have to be specific to say that Black Lives Matter to Americas, so that Americans can treat us like the humans we are. Black Lives Matter, and we are valuable. So That's let me say this, because mm -hmm. of nothing else you heard out of what I said, uh -huh. and I'm, I'm going to say this because oh, vision man. cannot be taught, it's got to be caught. So okay. surely you got what I was saying was that it's not about our lives mattering, it's about our lives being equal. So disregard what I said about the dog and embrace what I said about equality. God bless. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's my friend, so, so I can do that. That's my friend. So hey man, you gotta equality. get Kevin Bond on here one day. Walk away with walk away with equality. We need Dr. You know Bond on here. I, I almost had him on tonight. That's fine. That's crazy. You can come. So, I got, and, and, and James, <laughs> James, 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 send him the link. He can no, come. That Charlie I have a basket full. <laughs> Charlie, Dr. Bond, uh, Dr. Bond, we gonna Dr. send Bond, you the link. Dr. Bond, we need to send you this scared. link tonight. <laughs> but, I ain't scared. So, <laughs> I'm like Susie Owen. I'm like Susie <laughs> Owen. You know I ain't scared of nobody on here. And we just gonna let them take no! over the show tonight. But moving on from that, um, getting into what we do, um, us as um, you guys as pioneers and the gospel and um, uplifters, and I want to say we're the front runners of this. What should we be doing, or what can we do as a gospel community? to help push this narrative and this cause and not just be, um, well, it's good that we make a song because everybody got a song now with a with a picket sign in it and that's awesome, that's amazing. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with it. Um, Jabari don't laugh. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not, I'm with it all. But what else can we do to push this narrative forward Both. other than making a good song? Both. With some things we could do, practical things, I mean. Stan Stop Jones, trying. what do you feel some practical things Both. we can do? And Barry, you can answer right after. Uh, I, I think service. I think whatever you can do to serve is is the most impactful Amen. thing you can do. Uh, I was thinking about something somebody said earlier about the music back in those times when they were going through so many things that that are kind of yeah. like the same things that would have happened now. It bursts okay, substance. It bursts mm -hmm. substantial music sure that enough, we are still singing today. To this so, day. Yes, I, I believe that that these times are going to birth some more substantial music just the same way. I mean, people Amen. can sing these songs, hopefully like another 50, 100 years from now. But uh, it's something that our race is the race that goes through these things all the time. Mm -hmm. Contract to everybody's lives. So so I, I'm, I'm very anxious to hear what, what happens uh, from that side of things. Absolutely. I'm sorry, you breaking up, bro. I'm breaking up. Yeah, you were, you were, but now you're good. So what was okay. that last part you were saying? No, I, I was just saying I'm very anxious to hear what what this time births for people, especially artists and musicians and songwriters. <laughs> I, I like you said, I, I do hear a lot of songs that are coming out right now during this time, but uh, I I think pressure always forces us back to yeah. something substantial it always does mm -hmm. uh, i was listening i was matter of fact i was talking to uh gina miller uh, the other day about mm -hmm. the, the service that took place and it's something how uh th those moments those huge stages of moments that that uh, mm -hmm. really show gospel music 
always <laughs> forces people back to music probably that might have been written like 25, 30 years ago or something uh-huh. like that. And we have to think about, you know, why is that? That's another point it's, for me. It's a, it's, it's a substance issue. Yeah. Mm. It's, a, it's a substance mm. issue because mm. everybody is, everybody's been chasing the number one song. And they right. and, and every everybody goes for what substance is at the moment. So true. You know what I mean? And they go for whatever it is, especially in gospel music. You know what I mean? So true, you know, bro. To protect, you know, your jobs and to protect what you do, you listen to the radio. It should be more multiple number one songs that are dope that are out right now or that have been put out. I think like James said, it's a it's a it's a lyrical thing. Those people that wrote back in the day, like the Thomas Dorsey's and the James mm-hmm. Cleveland's and the and the uh, Walter Crouches. Hawkins and yes. the Andre Crouches, they 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 dealt with life and where they were in their lives on those moments and in t- times is, and and issues that were happening in the world instead <laughs> of focusing on giving me three words to sing on a Sunday morning and chant. Right. It was more of where they were, like you said, in their lives at that moment and what was happening in the community, what was happening in the church. And we got to get back to the formation of our culture and who we are and what we go Mm -hmm. through. You know what I mean? What we go through. That's why them songs are so potent. You know what I mean? Yeah, and and that's why you got to Like like a song like What's Going On by Marvin Gaye. Yeah. yeah, mercy, mercy me, all of them. Mercy, songs. mercy oh, yeah. me. It's They're been a long in. time coming. Yeah, we see. I, I I done saw about eighteen. I can't breathe songs, and yeah, if you writing about I can't breathe, somebody else should be writing about injustice. Justice, and that's right. Somebody should be writing that's about how it should be. So we should have multiple my, things my, going on. My pastor said. It's very there. You, there's no social justice songs of today. Mm-hmm. He said, if you really look at it and look at the totality of the industry, there's no black. I'm talking about black. There are no so, social justice songs of today. That's true. You know what I mean? There's <clears throat> that's you, true. Where can you go? You know, and and that's because I think people have a lot of people have debted themselves to what's happening in the community and desensitize themselves to focus on jumping to jumping the charts. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, well, and, and, you know. We're, jump, we're jumping the charts and that we're going to get into that in a second because um, we have a record label executive in the building and a couple um, actually because Ernest Pugh also had Amen. Um, his own label as well at one point. Um, so to get Still. into that factor, Still. You know, you know, I'm sorry, Still. I'm sorry. I'm, I, Amen. I, I, and, 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 and I'm sorry. And, and, Go ahead, and Uncle Ernest. We here. That's why. Right. Ernest, I know you got it. And then we got Music Blend, James Hall. Uh, you know, with radio, that's a whole nother uh, monster to tackle. Yeah, that's um, a different beast. Because you have, you're competing against labels if, if you are indie. Um, so at this point, uh, but you you can make it happen with, because this business is ran off of resources and relationships. Those two things you need. If you don't have, if you have one without the other, I feel bad for you. And you have to be knowledgeable. How important is it to be knowledgeable about this business, James Hall, after all this time you put in? You better know about this business or you will not make it. That's it's the bottom line. That's no point blank. Other ways around it. You don't know the business. You will not make it. Amen. You'll stay right in your city and not make it. <laughs> I don't care how great your project is. <laughs> you will stay right in your city, and that's that. I, I don't, I'm not going to give you no long dissertation about that. Is you got to know the business. That's you better true, read, your, read your paperwork. Read your paperwork right. and know your number. Get you a lawyer. Get, no, don't get you your, read it. Get you a lawyer. I'm, I'm, at, I'm at my I'm at my lawyer's house right now. I'm wow. sitting in his basement. I'm at his house mm-hmm. because See? I you, you got to put yourself around. You can't get excited about the platform. Mm-hmm. If you are just excited about the platform, you ain't never going to eat. You're never going to make no money. The gift exactly. won't, you, you, you're not living in 
what the word says that your gift will make room for you. Room. If, okay. and, and, and if you're not reading the numbers and the paperwork and you need to, yeah, you get, gotta have a lawyer, but you need to ask them questions. Questions. And you learn what, you, what that percentage is key and make sure that the phrasing in the first part of your contract mm. looks the same at the end of the contract. Yeah. You could read something in the front of the contract and get to clause B and it tells you something different and you sign it and it messes your percentages up. My, my, my. That's yes. why I'm grateful that God brought me in as a writer first. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Be because Amen. That's I, so learned, good. I, I was able to learn the business so that right. now when I got <laughs> signed, you couldn't do me. I understand. That's a that's a good that's a good that's a great excellent point there, um, Stan Jones. What is your take on that? Man, I I, I promise I got so engulfed on what everything everybody was saying. Can you ask me one more time? <laughs> <laughs> the whole factor Man. of knowing the business you're in, studying to show that own oh, it's, proof. It's, it's there it is uh it's very important to know the business um or it's very important to hire somebody who knows the business right uh, right even even jesus had a team <laughs> so see, exactly. see, you gotta have see. a team you gotta have a team of people or somebody who knows what they're doing uh if you want to focus on the church college, that's cool absolutely that. that's that's cool You're right that's dope, man. De you want to focus on the on on your gift and what that is then you know, hire somebody who does. Dexter Walker, how do you go about assembling a team? Who do you pick? How do you pick? Um, you know, somebody that knows more more than you do, of course. Uh, me personally, uh, I'm still learning. I'm not afraid to ask questions. I'm still learning to this day. I have on, a manager. Yes. I have actually uh, hired uh, an additional manager uh, who knows more than I do. So that really helps me out a lot. Uh, and I just surround myself uh, with people who know more than I do because I don't know everything. I've been in, in, in this thing for about 17 years. And wow, yeah, it's been 17 years now. And I still don't know everything. But you have to surround yourself. If you don't, I mean, of course, you need to learn on your own. But surround yourself with people who know more than you uh -huh. so you can get that information. That's good. Yeah, can that's I can good. I say one thing too? When when Never. I and don't don't get excited about just being around somebody because you know them. Right. Uh -huh. you, you know what I mean? Wow. Glean from them. That's like so when good. I when I'm a, when I'm around James at Hall, I'm, and when he's talking, I'm gonna shut yeah. up because right. he's been in uh -huh. the game. And we I'm have we have talked for hours. Come on, hours. You know what I mean? We, <laughs> we talked talk for hours. hours. When I'm around Bishop, you know what I mean? I'm not. I'm not, yeah, he's Bishop Hezekiah Walker, but I'm listening and I'm paying mm -hmm. attention to the conversations and I'm listening to what's happening and I learn, okay, that's what I need to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what I don't need to do. You know what I mean? I, you, you learn and you glean and you ask those questions and don't get, some people like to just throw names and name drop. When I'm talking to James, I'm like, Yikes. James, bro, this, this is what I went through. You know what I mean? Well, how do I deal with this? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and, Jay, and James gives me insight. I think one thing about our industry is, you know, you know, we don't talk enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure you know, I don't. You know what I mean? We, we, don't, we don't share enough. We do right. with each other when it comes to being in front of each other, um, well, you know, on stages. Say that, man. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. That, That's so I agree. good. We got that, I agree. We got that convention talk. You know what I mean? I so good. And we got that convention yeah. talk where, you know, Dexter can call me and I'll be like, what's up, my nigga? I mean, oh, I'm sorry. What's up? <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. You know, Listen, it you is know, what it is, bro. You know, you know, right. he, can, he can call me and ask me and I can say, Dexter, no, you know what I mean? I don't feel like, it's like we scared to talk about what's really going on. Right. You know what I mean? And I feel like we need to be more converse on that. Well, you know, well, I think that's a that's a plethora of artist right Pew, artist Pew is so awesome at that though. At convention yeah. talk, I just wanted to make that point. It's going in here tonight. Oh my god, it's going down here tonight. Who said that? 
Who said that? That's Stan. <laughs> yeah. Jamari Johnson. He said Stan. Spoken from the king of shade himself. <laughs> oh. No, oh. not at all. Who is a partner with Gina Miller, who is the uh. queen of all shade. Uh -oh. But anyway, what I'd like to say. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh -oh. We're not what doing I'd this like today. To I love Gina Miller. If I could, if I could, I just want to. God bless you. So what I like to say is there's two things uh, as uh, along those lines. Number one, uh, never build a house without counting the cost. Because True. you always want That's to count know what, what you're going into. So before yeah. I got accepted into the industry, one of, one of the blessings that I had, I, I was very co comfortable leading praise and worship and just doing whatever I was told to do. But when it was time to go, I had set and been, either you're going to be at the table or you're going to be on the menu. And I'm so grateful mm. that I was able to come to the table with so many people who just had so much wisdom. When it was time to do it, boom, I was like, do this, do that. You don't want to just put a song out, but you got to market, you got to promote, you got to right. keep your credit good to where if you don't have a label, I've always been independent. So I've never really depended on a label. I just keep a good credit score. And then if you got to pull out your credit card for a season to just pay for it, come you can on, still somebody. do what you called in the earth to do without a machine behind you. So that's I so just good. those two things. Yeah. Who's coughing on here? I don't, I don't know. James, don't, James, don't James, you do this today. Don't, do don't you do this today. James, don't you do this today. James, don't do that. Jabari, James, don't do that. Jabari here about to give you another sound bite. Don't do that. Already, James. <laughs> don't do that. Now, stop that coughing on you. Do not name. do that. That's New York. Yo, this boy is so dirty. Now, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. Don't come for New York, brother, because we finally got it together. That's right. Okay? New York, we are together. Flat. Yeah, we got it together. I can't even come here. Y'all can't even come here. We ain't letting y'all in quarantine. We ain't letting y'all in here. Right. Pray, James. Pray, James. <laughs> I'm missing Times Square. Well, it's closed. Don't go. But Don't anyway, go? Sure it's closed. Is. You ain't nowhere to go. The Broadway is closed. Yeah. Everything's closed. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was, James I was just walking there today. It's crazy. Uh, I, this is like a ghost town. Mm -hmm. Jesus is coming back. Sure enough is. He been. That is. He been coming back. Jabari Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Jabari Johnson, what is the best piece of advice you've been given, bro? That you can say help change the trajectory of your 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 um career. Believe all of what people do and not what they say. Because mm -hmm. like you said, like Jason said earlier, people are like people are, with this convention talk. Hey man, we gotta do a song together. Yo man, we gotta do this. We gotta do that. <laughs> then you People see them the next time. And then you see them the next time, and they introduce themselves to you like they People just meet you. People still doing like, it, bro. What's your name? What? Right. Hey, hey yo, yo, I, Jabari, what's, what's, bro? What? Did you I think they mean well. well. No, they don't. No. Some don't mean it's, well. conve it's convention talk, like we said. That's all it is. <laughs> like, why, why don't you even go out of your way? Why go out of your way? Why? Oh, go out their Somebody way. Like, I've had people go out there way to promise me stuff. What they, they promise you? What they promise? But you got everything. You, got. <laughs> you don't need. He won't, he won't say. He won't say. He looking so, away. Look at him. 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 Look at this fool. Look at him looking away. When did they promise, Jay? No, I'm just, I'm agreeing with Jabbar. Okay, you know. <laughs> so, so let me, let me say, let me say this. The cool thing about it is I don't, I don't have no allegiance to nobody, so I don't own nobody. You know what I mean? So this thing is guarded. Mm. And, yes, they only, and they yes, only sir. gonna they only gonna let you in so far. Oh, those gatekeepers. We talked about that the last. Uh oh, time. even though we can't go do another episode of on the gatekeepers, gatekeepers again. Please leave the gatekeepers. gatekeepers? Because the main dog was name? upset yes, about those gatekeepers mm -hmm. last time. What's their name? I'm, 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 not, I'm not gonna do that, but let me well, just. Well, if Keith, they if do. Keith Wonder Boy they was, on, if Keith Wonder Boy Johnson was on here, oh, I wish Keith was here. Keith would he's tell in, it. He's he's in the chat right now. Keith knows the Yo, history. Keith, though. Please he knows come on. History. I mean, y'all know, 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 know the top. He knows the history though. Y'all know the top ten of who they are. You know what I mean? I mean, the top ten is that many. Let me, uh, I mean, they it's starting it's really some, about five. Some, it's really but, about but you know what? I think there's, five. There's, <laughs> yeah. there's a new there's a new regime of them that are coming in that have, are, are being stamped now. 
Okay. Yeah, gotcha. I, mean, I agree. Let's, I see what you're you saying. You own to something, Jason. So well, let's own to something. Wait, 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 wait. wait. wait he's if they're to being, if, if, they're if being they're clowns. Being, Y'all heard what you're James Brown said. You're on to something, Jason. But hold on. If they're being stamped, who's stamping them? The, 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 the first five. The, the first five. The first five. The first five. Okay, I'm just trying to understand. They're perpetuating the narrative. That they, was they, but this is thing. But this is thing too. They can I say this sample. though? They can only go so far. Like, like the lane that I know nobody will ever be able to. When I came in, I saw this. I saw this. This is my 20th year in the industry. I saw this. It was the same people performing all the time, getting all they were. This is what I said to myself. You can't stop me with radio, because if I pay the right radio produce promoter. Yep. You can control all of those performances. You can control all those nominations. Wow. What you cannot do is you cannot stop me from getting spent on that radio because I'm going to spend my money with the top promoter and I'm going to get to the top because that's going to make me work more. So even though they may try to stop you in two or three other places, they can't stop your name from being great for every minister of music and pastor in the country to hear you because if they're hearing you, if they're playing you, they're calling you. And if they're calling you, they're paying you. I'm a witness. Okay. That's I'm good. glad you touched I'm glad you touched <laughs> on that. Stop. We, have a, we, have a, we have a lot of independent artists that are in the room and watching. We're going to get to your questions in a few seconds. Guys. <clears throat> but I want to say this too, because this is one thing I, I've, I've always shared as being a, a radio guy, an artist and a radio promoter myself. And one thing I share with each client that I've ever had or worked at radio is make sure that you're able to perform this, this song as well. Um, Absolutely. When it's top, you know, we go, you're talking about radio and you're concerned about cracking the top 100, but can you perform this? Can you, mm. could this translate when you get up wow. on the stage? Can we, can we see why you're on the radio? Um, because yeah. just being on the radio and on the billboard, that's not enough. And that's yeah. not that's not good enough neither. Really? Um, you have to actually have the goods. You have to actually have the goods. Sunny. So, so can how I, can I? Let me insert ahead, just one thing because Mariah Carey, uh, Mariah Carey, as well as the what's the good scenes? I keep on falling. Alicia Keys. Alicia, Alicia, Keys. Keys. Alicia Keys. Okay, so she was number one on radio for over a year, and she never did a live performance. So the point that I'm trying to make: if you're getting radio. Mm -hmm. Sound Exchange pays you. If you're anywhere in that top 10, it's a six-figure income, whether you go do a gig or not. Mm -hmm. right. And the only reason I can say this, I think James sure. Hall can probably attest to the fact Jafari has had some radio. Sound Exchange pays more on a year than your publishing pays you probably, unless you got a mass catalog. Sound Exchange pays you based on spins at radio. So you can right. still garner what I'm saying is a six-figure income, whether you gig or not. So I just want to put that in. Let me there. let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I'm a living witness. I've done it. I've seen it. I I pay for two in of my independent records from spins. So I know exactly yep. what you're talking about when it comes Damn, to well, writing. Testify. I mean, it's I'm in just the being one hundred. It's in the house. I've been there. I've seen it. I've done it. My wife. She's she was like, man, why are you writing these songs and you ain't getting no checks? When them checks start coming in, it my, was a different. My, my, my. It was a different you can situation. You sit home. When I, said, when I sat at home, and everybody was trying to figure out in the last five years, how is Jason at all of the events and walking down the Grammy carpet and all of this stuff and writing all of these songs for everybody and, and, and the same artists and paying my own way to come and all of the artists are going home and they ain't got no money in their pocket. I'm glad you touched on that. I'm you know glad I mean, it, it's ain't nothing like it's mailbox patient. ministry, Doc. Come on. Nothing come like on. mailbox. <laughs> come on. <laughs> nothing like it. Who said it's that, Stan? Stan. Nothing, it's the nothing best. like which, it. Which is, it's, it's the best how, ministry. How important is it to invest in yourself, Charles Perry? It's super important. I mean, listen, if Dr. Bond taught us years ago, be your greatest supporter. When nobody make when nobody makes noise for you, you, you make your own noise yourself, and <laughs> that was something we learned early. You know, because if you the people won't believe, they won't believe what you don't believe in. That's what I learned. You That's know, good. people today respond off of energy. Mm -hmm. This whole, everything is off of energy. We we and watching high, a movement and, and, and high, on TV and high, built yeah. off of energy and hype. But guess what? It can't become hype 
unless you get the energy first. Come on, boy. So energy is always first. It, it's, it's, it's the genesis for hype to be built. James, you know? so, James what's your ha- catch app? Come on. <laughs> James, James, James and Ernest, let me just say this. How long have you seen me around? I can go Since back I started. to Righteous Riders. Wow. Right? Righteous That's Riders. Oh my God. Christ You're talking about when, singing, when you're singing and rapping. I was singing, I was singing in a hip hop group and it didn't rap at all. Wow. Because the way that God allows you to get into the, to whatever, you gotta take that and and, and enjoy your journey. I, Watch everybody yourself, don't want to everybody don't want to enjoy the journey. They want to go straight to the top. Right. right. They don't they don't want to enjoy the journey. People don't realize I was writing, I wrote on Vashon Mitchell's Promises album. You know what I mean? Mm, I, I worship that. you. Um, uh, over and over featuring Kim Burrell. You know what I mean? You you're wrote all over I and need. Over. Yes. Wow. You, you're all I need on Bishop Hezekiah's sold out album. You know what I mean? We was, I've been, it's, it's paying your dues and working to get to where, Ernie. you know what I mean? Pay your it, dues. It, yes, you sir. Pay your, you pay and for those, dues, and for those watching that don't know, this is one of the co-writers of the song Better that Bishop Walker sings. Better. Come on up in here. He Jason and Claiborne. Ricky Dilla, the, that Ricky Dilla joint though. And, and, and a Ricky Dilla song. It. I survived. I survived it. So yeah, he got a song on a few people right. projects coming out too. Okay, who? Man, listen, Jason, you got it. Okay, Kevin gotta, Lemons. Oh, Kevin, Kevin Lemons. Lemons. I, I, wrote, I wrote two songs on Kevin Lemons. I, I yeah. just wrote uh, uh, Sam Franklin's new single, "Set My Feet." Oh, that's nice. Nice. She let me hear that. I, she I sent that to me. I, I thought I'm, I wrote I'm on, that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on. I'm on Dexter Walker's record. This out now. Everybody, go get that joint. Come on, Dex. You know, I love getting it. all the money. But you prepare and you store your barnyard up to be ready for your moment. Yeah. So some, some somebody asked like Ooh. Jay, how how you got all of this stuff ready? My choir album is done and ready to roll. I'm just waiting on the label to drop it. Uh, but because you gotta be ready for these moments. Some of these songs That's right. I, I wrote I wrote I survived it before better. Wow. And Ricky wow. Dillard said, what Ricky you mean? Dillard oh, you're, you're said, waiting. Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, I'm just saying, I, I wrote it and, and sent it to Ricky before I sent his better. And Ricky and Dillard hit me up. After, yeah, after better took off, Ricky said, nephew, you're going to write all the songs <laughs> for your godfather <laughs> and not me. You know, so I mean, it's just. So, you, so, you're, so you're telling us Ricky only wanted to do the song after better came out. No, I'm not saying that, bro. No, I'm, 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 I'm messing with you. I'm not gonna let you do it. I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. You can say it. You can say it, Trayvon. I did but say this, it. You're the host. <laughs> the thing about it is, I was I was writing on so many independent records because at the end of the day, you gotta be ready and you gotta work, man. You gotta work and work hard. Everybody wants the platform, but you gotta. You, you got to so enjoy. True. Stephen Hurd said this to me. If God places you in front of a hundred people and that's who he has that supports your ministry at that moment, mm-hmm. will you be comfortable with that until the elevation comes? Right. Exactly. That's mm. good. You, exactly. If you go in a club and you sing to 25 people, my pastor on told me it's, it's not always how many people are in the room is who's it's in the room. Faithful that's right. That. Oh, I'm a, wit- I'm yes, a witness. Sir. You know what I mean? It's who's in the room. That. You never know and, how and, they can switch and change, man. I, 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 I concur with that. I agree with you wholeheartedly, man. Shout out to all of the uh, people that have tuned in, man. We love you guys so much. And I see all of your, your love. Um, one person said James Hall is a legend. Her name is legend. Tiana. Legend, on, legend. I, I agree. Another person said, I am a fan of all of you guys in the room. Love you all. Love you too. Love um, you too. Listen, with that being said, and you guys being such pioneers in the game, and we spoke about this before, but I didn't get a chance to hear this young man's question, but I want to hear him talk about it because he's somebody who I believe in and I've been watching from afar. And now since we've um, become pretty cool and close, man, he's, I really, really admire this guy. Read the question. Jo- jo- I'm, I'm, 
Man, y'all, y'all call him. Here, can, man. can I can I get to it, James Hall? Oh, Jesus. That's Jabari funny. Johnson, man. How important yeah. is it to be how important is it to be you, man, and no one else? How important is that to you? You're on mute. You're on mute. You're on mute. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes we can. Because you saw me <laughs> playing, right? Mute, mute, mute. <laughs> How like, you know? <laughs> like, like we said earlier, you got so many uh, gospel artists leaving the black church to try to be do CCM music and stuff like that. Stupid then they get over there and figure out who said that. Charlie, I know y'all so, think it's me. Jabari, I'm sorry, Jabari. I thought I was muted. People, Who would those people leave? People think oh, we're the same people. Love. We're not. They do. Oh. That's me. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, God. Here we go. But they again. are stupid, though, Jabari. They're some stupid okay. idiots. Oh, God. What They're stupid. <laughs> That's honest. <laughs> I cannot, I I'm cannot sorry. tonight, I cannot tonight. I'm sorry, I'm sorry guys, I'm Finish sorry, Jabari. I'm sorry. Okay, so you got a lot of people leaving the gospel industry to go do the like CCM stuff and they get over there and figure out, hey, I can't really uh, uh, succeed like I want to, like, because race plays a part in that too, whether they believe it or not. Mm -hmm. so like we said earlier, you, you got a lot of black people playing CCM music on the radio station, but you got well, how many how many black songs you hear played on the CCM radio? Mm. Little, probably not mm. one. They Ron might Kenobi. throw in Kurt. Fr <laughs> they're gonna throw in Kurt Franklin and say, "Oh, we we love black people." You know what I'm saying? That kind of can stuff. I, but can I? I add just I think I think you gotta. What's up? I think a conversation was had years ago, and I won't say his name, mm -hmm. but it was a particular program director that was over all the music programming for Radio One. I remember that. The, yeah, I know James yeah. know exactly where I'm going. So what was said was that while they're playing choirs, traditional music, quartet and all that, they said that they could not get people to buy advertising on the radio. So when mm. they changed the format and they got a more uh, CCM slash Christian format music, they can get lawyers, doctors, corporate play, corporate uh, uh, businesses to then buy ads. So they changed the format. Wow. Uh, and a lot of people, remember James, we were on that boat and Shirley Caesar was like, how about We was at the, uh, uh, we was on in the Bahamas, I believe on the one cruise. Radio one cruise, I was there. Radio one cruise, you were there Jason. And they were mm -hmm. like, what is the problem? How are you gonna do away with a Rance Allen and a Shirley Caesar and a Dorothy Norwood and the program director, which wow. I won't say his name, he stood up and said, because people do not want to advertise why y'all screaming and hollering. We need the, the wow. other people who are in. So that's what happened with the format. So I always wow. say this to, to quantify and say one thing. It may appear that people left, but I know what they sat down with me and went over my album and out of 12 songs, they would say, you only have one song that's really user friendly because you're doing a lot of changing wow. keys and modulation. You got that big choir sound. I Need mm -hmm. Your Glory is a little bit more accepted and embraced, wow. if you would, by the community at large. So I'm saying that what that's what may be happening because you can't do away with choirs. I mean, true. church music works on church people. So you can't that's call true. it a gospel format. Hey, it, you know, it, works on, I mean, it works on all people. Everybody. Well, it's church people. I yeah, tell people I, when they I'm, start talking about church, when they start talking about choirs, I said only people that are trying to do away with churches is the church. I mean, trying to do away with choirs <laughs> is the church. Come on. Only people trying to do away with the choir <laughs> is the church. You talk about why, 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 why do you know why do you think that is? I don't know. Because like Charlie said, they're stupid. Because if they're they're stupid. you know what I <laughs> No, you you <laughs> laughing, but you they are at, stupid. You look at, they you look at every yeah. gospel, every secular <laughs> award show. Guess what they gonna have uh, yeah. one time of the night. Even exactly. the rappers, even rappers, they're bringing been, rappers been... on. You go see a church scene in a movie. What you gonna see in the background? Right? I get it. Everybody, I, I totally get it. We the only, we the only when it's convenient. Doing but they do it when it's convenient. And you have to be okay with what you're anointed to do. Right. That's true. 
If you're not anointed to sing CCM, don't try. Don't do it. If you're anointed to do only traditional, you do it to the glory and honor of God. Good, James. Um, I believe it was. Oh, um, that's Charlie. James, I, I, we sound alike. That's my singing twin, y'all. <laughs> I, I, every Listen, we do sound alike. That's my singing twin. But James, listen, when we were coming up, they told us we sound weird yep. and we were different. And it got us to where we are now, 38 years right. in the music business. And everybody tried to bite after what we do. What we and do. and now on. they still biting off of what we Come do on. now. Still. We're taking still. our runs and still. licks and still. all this crazy stuff. Still. So you have to be bold to stand in your gift and be secure in it. Okay? Yeah. And be Amen. secure. Because what I've learned is when you <clears throat> occupy somebody else's space, you get their results. <clears throat> That's good, Doc. When you occupy somebody else's face, you get their results and their identity. Mm. You don't right. need no one's identity. When God has Come anointed up. you to write like you, sing like you, I want to encourage every artist. It, it, it takes boldness to stay in your lane until you see results. Yeah. Come and on. listen, I've learned, I guys, agree. fellas, I thank God for every no that I got. Every N O. Oh, come on. Because those no's got this. me to We Love Disney. Those no's got me to David Foster, BT Music Matters. Every one of those no's, not the yeses, y'all, the no's. And I'm going to give you another revelation the Lord gave me some time ago. No means come on, revelation. the word no backwards. The word no backwards means on. On. So I've learned to embrace every no because it got me to where I am. Mm. So I You're don't on. need I don't need to borrow from anybody and steal from Come anybody. On, you got to ride the wave of your process and stop thinking that you're going to skip process. There is no That's skipping good, process. Come it's on, the bro. process that will we make have, you the writer you need to be. We have it's these the conversations process. all the time and I mean, one you thing know I, we have these I conversations all the time. One thing, one thing I always say: there's no skipping process for promise. You can't. Oh. You can't. You can't yeah, do you it. Can't. Good tonight. You can't do you it. Can't. You can't skip. There's a level. There's certain. There's levels to this, my G. The, the, and you, the and, and you got it. And the, you got to go through what you got to go through. You but, have to. But, but for hey. those, there are real. There are a lot the of problem. artists that are. There are a lot of artists in the chat. I'm sorry, Jay. I'm gonna let you go right no, I'm now. Sorry, I'm sorry. Go, I want to say something right quick. But, but, then I'm gonna let you uh, stand. I'm gonna let you go right, right after. Okay. There are there are a lot of uh, independents in the room, and this is what this whole forum is about: helping, mm -hmm. talking about real issues. And I want to help someone right now because I want to encourage you to let you know maybe it's not the thing that you're doing now that will push you to your level next, but it will exactly. be something. It's gonna right? be something. You, you can't you can't Start quit. The conversation. You can't quit until. You get to that level, to the level next, because there's a you that you don't even know yet. Exactly. This is why you can't give up and don't despise the, the days of small beginnings, because it'll be the very thing that you would have never thought that'll push you over the threshold. That'll push you Go over ahead, the Jay, threshold. And then stand right after you. We, we two things. We're mm. scared. We're scared to have a new Kirk Frank. Wow. We're we're scared. We're scared to have a new heirs. We're scared to have a new. We're we're scared because we we don't we don't we've been in the business 30, 40 years and we don't know how to pass the baton. That's so good, Ooh. bro. You, you know what I'm saying? That's we don't so know how good, to pass, bro. We don't know how to pass the baton That's and so say, good, you know bro. what? And so into. We don't know how to pass the baton and say, hey, look, keep your legs up under you and keep running mm -hmm. so you can finish. This is not a sprint. It is a marathon. Marathon. Right. You know what I'm saying? And we're running this marathon together. I'm only saying, you know, what we've been through. I done been told no so many times. I, I, I can't even count. Stan told me no. Oh, wow. I believe I'm just playing. <laughs> no, but I'm not told too. <laughs> but, listen, but, what I'm, but what I'm saying is, I've been, I've been told no so many times. That don't mean the yes ain't coming. Right. That's true. That's that don't mean a yes ain't there. It's your heart and where your relationship is and where God is, how he's 
maneuvering you through this walk and will that he has and the plan that he has for you. You know what mm. I mean? You, we, we, we are so focused, and I'm going to say it again, you're so focused on the platform, and like Charles said, that you forget to enjoy the journey. Got to enjoy it. Because, because every moment, every moment in every season is, a, is, is for you to enjoy it so that yes. God is building you and teaching you to prepare you for your next. Amen. Exactly. You, Amen. you ain't even had an opportunity that I, I'm, I admit it. I really didn't get to enjoy the moment for better because I was wow. so engulfed in trying to use that moment for me to put in where I thought I should be because of me dropping four independent albums before anybody paid attention to me. Then, I, then what made me realize it is I went back and I looked at Prince and how Prince dropped 10 to 12 albums before anybody paid attention to him. That's so true. Independent is the way to go, homie. Well, man, listen. Stan, Stan Jones, go ahead, bro. Yeah, I, I just wanted to come in on the point that was made about the CCM music. Um, it, mm -hmm. In my opinion, I believe that the reason why a lot of our gospel artists go to CCM music is that you have to admit that there is a level of purity in the music. Every time you visit the Devil Wars, it, I, I, I think when people create the CCM music, they don't worry about the art so much as we do because that's what we're great at. You got to admit that. We, we, we are great at uh, singing. We can't just sing. We have to sing it in a way that's mm -hmm. amusing and beyond other people. But CCM has a music that just goes straight to here. If you, if you go there, that's all they're doing most of the time. They're singing some of the time, but they're so engulfed in the moment and that's why people go for that music. I don't mind CCM music. I just don't want gospel right. to be all CCM music. Right, the I can't take it all gospel, The days when gospel music used to be a buffet, that's when gospel was dope. The, exactly. Uh, gospel, gospel music was a buffet to where it would play traditional quartet, choir music, some praise and worship, and then go to something else. But if I didn't like quartet if my dad liked it just by his enthusiasm on liking it i might say yo it is cool if, but if commission or somebody else or Dawkins and dawkins comes on after that my dad might see my reaction and be like yo i kind of like that too that's how gospel music used to grow i did that's so it's hard. this conversation is extremely deep no yeah, exactly. I, there, there's two parts to it because i've written with a lot of them too you, you, you know they they can sing about deer and panning after water brooks because they got that. Mm. Hello, somebody. <laughs> they, they, got, they, got, they, they got, I'm sorry. I've never, I'm never seen no deer in my projects. Come on, they got, mm. they got the pants on. They don't, they don't fo focus on the ethereal part of going here. You know exactly. what I'm saying? They gonna focus on that because that's what they know. They've lived that. We ain't lived, we ain't lived it where we had uh, streams and rivers flowing behind our house. We had a we had a we had the water flowing from the uh, gutter going down and washing away some trash into the gutter. You know what I'm saying? So we 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 dealt we they had the good parts of the pig. We had the chickens coming mm -hmm. up in here, Jason. You know they what I'm saying? So I, mean, I, I, I think they gave two, us the feet and we made pig they, feet. They, yeah, we made pig. I think it's two parts <laughs> to it. You know what I mean? They ain't had yes. to go through what we had to go through. You know what I, I mean? Agree. And I'm 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 gonna say it on that standpoint. I they think it's pain go, in our music. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah I, and I, I agree with that. I do agree. You know what I mean? That. There's there's more agree. pain in our music and, and it reaches a little bit deeper in, in, in our music, even from Tasha Cobb's. Them singing "Break Every Chain" from Tasha Cobb singing it. Which there is was why more pain I, and passion behind her singing that I, because of what she's been through. I agree with you wholeheartedly on that, bro. This is why we need songs like "It's a Fixed Fight," Jabari Johnson. Come on, Jabari. Yeah. Come on, because you got Jabari Johnson. Never I want heard you to it. Tell us. I want you to tell uh, us. Wow, Ernest. <laughs> and then, wow. you know oh, why? The Ernest is brutal, man. Did, oh, Ernest said that he never heard no. it. <laughs> Hate me, bro. <laughs> Yo, well, Jesus. 
Jabari, Jabari, before you before you go, because I know you got family in town. Before yeah, you go, go too. yeah. Before Jabari I have to go gets to Trayvon. James, where you going? Right, right, this is why I didn't want to sing well, it out because everybody well, got to play. I, have, I just was in. I was in the stage this. game, and I had. Oh, James, it's over, it's social outside. distancing. Social yeah. distancing. The table is a big square. We outside but you, in the yard. But you touching those cards. No, you gonna play with gloves on? The blood yes. of Jesus. <laughs> he said yes. Now, all, I know, all I know is it's dark outside now. Oh, oh. please. Jabari, Jabari Johnson, tell us how you came up with the song Fix Fight and what does it mean to you? All right, I'll first, I'll start off uh, by saying that first of all, James can't play spades. I'm the space wow. team. Wow. I'm oh, sticking to that. That's my game. Wow. Wow. Shot fire. <laughs> I Shot fire. I will get on the Shot plane, bro, and show you. Shot fire. <laughs> Let's I set promise it up. you, me and my best friend, Ebony, and me and Tanya Baker have not lost a game since we've been playing. Okay. Okay. Shot right, fire. Well, we let's, don't want to do it. God. Let's do it. Shot fire. Oh, I'm, I'm, do I'm it. down to come I, down for that, too. Listen, let's do it. Let's do it. That's the it, next Tanner. one is we're gonna be live together at a big round table having space. <laughs> that's that's what we space need to do. That's, 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 a that, that's a person that don't play space talking about we're gonna be having space. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> James, you you forgot you forgot wow. you lost to me. You forgot you lost wow. to me, bro. Shots fired on the scene. You forgot you lost. Was some people at that table. That's what happened. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Your your part that was, was not my but part. Anyway, moving. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> Jabari, answer the question. <laughs> Yo, you don't forgot the, the question, did you? No, no, no. no he started with that space thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, any time, bro. Any time, but I, I'm down. Down. Fix oh, Fight wasn't, wasn't uh, even supposed to be a song, bro. I was, uh, what was I at? Lafayette? No, Lake Charles, Louisiana. And uh, we were singing Have Your Way. And then at the end of it, we were just coming up with stuff. And then we started singing. It's a fixed fight when our, we already won. Background singers caught it. Everybody else caught it. And then it just it became a thing. And then my homeboy, Ryan, he the one that invited me out there. He hit me and told me, he was like, <clears throat> he said, you need to write, to, write some verses to it. So I did it. And then recorded October 25th, dropped in May 8th. That's it. And I, I honestly, I didn't, like I say all the time, man, I didn't know I was writing a song in July that would, like, that we need right now for the times we're in right now. People dying, police brutality, racism, all that stuff like that. And people need to know that at the end of the day, we got victory, man. So that's that's what it means to me. That's what it's all about. Praise God. Fact. Yeah. Thank God for the. Uh, Stan Jones behind pushing it. Dex, Dexter Walker got a new oh, that's song out as well. Okay. So. Are we still doing this? Dexter Walker <laughs> has a new song out as well, man. Tell us about what, what you know, what place you wrote that from, bro. Well, I didn't write, first of all, I didn't write the song. It's a call and response song. Uh, okay. We were singing it in Europe a few years ago, and it got so good that when we came back here, we started singing it and um, I added some stuff to it. I love to uh, change stuff around. Um, so uh, we recorded it last year and of course, I didn't know what I was going to do with it. I just wanted to get the idea out of my head. So, you know, the world started changing in like March and mm -hmm. uh, I was just encouraged to uh, get the song out. And this song is just a encouragement, a way to uplift people's spirits, to stir something up Dope. in their spirit to let them know that everything is going to be all right, and um, honestly, didn't have a lot of money, but I felt like this needed to be out. So, um, you know, God Whoa. just provided, and I, it's here now. Be all right. Look Man, I love what I'm it. Talking about. Oh, you. we got little kids. So, oh, Jay, Jay got a son here. <laughs> <laughs> got Jay's son. Yo, listen, moving moving forward in, in music, what are we looking to hear from James Hall. What's what's next for you, bro? Um, well, right now I'm working on two projects. I'm finishing Worship and Praise project right now. We have a project wow. called The New Era of the Old Time Way, which we recorded down in DC, in Washington, yes, DC at the, the Lincoln Theater. So that will be coming out in the fall. I, I just was hired to produce a project for um, Philip Whedon, who is um, a celebrity trainer, and he 
he's working on his first gospel extreme project, which I'm producing. And I got some great oh. guys working on that with me. It's going to be really, <laughs> really amazing. Wow. I can't wait. You doing writing or you just producing? Um, I'm, I did write a little and I'm adding some vocals to some of the stuff that I'm getting. And um, yeah, it's really, I'm producing it. It's really producing. Okay. So we're going to get, we're going to get, we're going to be getting a single from you soon. I'm guessing. Yeah, well, you know, I got to find out how that works. I guess we can get a single from that. Are you talking about the project I'm producing? Your project. Your, your, oh, yeah, your no, project. Yeah, what's your praise project? Yes, you definitely will have a single. Definitely will have a single. Okay. We're fighting awesome. over what the single is going to be, me and Troy, right now. So we, that's what we're And Troy, right now. for those that don't know, Troy is your... MD, Troy Chambers. Shout out to Troy yeah. Chambers. Shout out to Troy yeah. Chambers. Yeah. So since that time, since we last spoke, Ernest Pugh did have a release. Talk to us about that and what's going on with that, big bro. Man, having a good time. Last time I checked the Outpour Experience, uh, which features Amber Bullock, I went back and got Betty Griffin Keller. Uh, I was top 12 the last time I looked at it. The lead awesome. out single, God Wants to Heal You. Uh, the video and everything is doing great. I think the, the single is top five this week. And uh, we're just doing great things, which we were out touring, but we're not touring, so we're just going to keep releasing content. You know, since everybody's sitting in front of their computers, right. Right. I'm going to just release a, uh, I'm gonna release a music video probably every month till I get all 12 oh. songs in front of the computer. Well, you're already on the stage right there. You got your seat. Yeah, Come on. Right you. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. you already got gospel by Jones right behind you. In all your glory. In all your glory. I'm ready. Charles, Charles Perry, what can we, what can the listeners expect to hear from you real soon, bro? Oh, man. Uh, I, you know, Trayvon, we were talking about milestone and uh, milestone movements and uh, moments in my career and something really amazing. I, I got an amazing miracle and opportunity. I, I would say one of the biggest career opportunities ever outside of Disney and I'm looking forward to it. Um, we're still working on the script. So I just, I praise God for what he's about to do. Y'all know how it is. We gotta get yeah. this paperwork right, but I want to say, I, I want to <laughs> say this. I want to <laughs> say this though. I'm excited about it, and um, I can't wait. The master class is is taking off um, through the roof. You know, plenty yeah. of networks are respond. Uh, three networks have responded. I'm excited, and big shout outs to every vocal gladiator that is watching right now and texting my phone. Y'all yes. stop in, calling yeah. me until we get off the phone. But this <laughs> out, and listen, wait a minute. And I'm celebrating 38 years in the music business this Whoa. November. Wow. This That's November. Huge. I'm excited huge. about that. I'm excited about that. Finally, man, we had to push it back due to COVID. So we pushed it back to November. But y'all will be hearing about it. I'm excited. Some of y'all will be working on it. So I'm excited about it, y'all. That's it. That's it. Charles, how old are you? Oh, I'm 39 years young. I'm not afraid of my age. I'm 39 <laughs> years young. Why, yes, that's why he got that. Time. I'll be 40 <laughs> July 11th. Praise God. I'm excited. So, so if you live right, right, God will preserve you. One. He'll if preserve you. Right. you right. If you if you yes, live right. <laughs> and while we and while we got the maestro himself in here, is D. Stan Jones, man. Uh, you know, when I was when I when I you know, came into knowledge of you some years ago, man. And I started going back in the archives and looking at all the work you did, man. I was like, wait a minute, this dude has been doing the thing for a while. So for those that may not know D. Stan Jones, did you just give us a little bit of background, man, for those that are listening and watching on here tonight um, about what it is you're doing, all of the great, awesome things you've been a part of and what you got coming on, coming up right now. Uh, yeah, I started off as a musician, I started touring with a gospel group called the Williams Brothers and uh, started writing and producing and stuff. Uh, I wrote a song called All I Need, There's a Touch From You by Brian Courtney Wilson, which yes, is still the longest running song in Billboard gospel history. I was fortunate yes. enough to write that. And uh, uh, Marvin Sapp, he has his hands on you. Uh, uh, Mississippi Mask, Guys on Your Side, featuring Leandra Johnson, all the way to the Ken Spirituals, I recommend Jesus, and 
so many other uh, songs I've been so fortunate to be a part of. And it was a blessing for me because as a kid, I watched my father, you know, listen to all these great gospel artists and, uh, you know, to be a part of that legacy as well. So it's it's just been a phenomenal ride for me to be a part of the gospel industry. Now I'm a part of the Entertainment One uh, team and serving with oh. Gina Omega and Nakai and Paul, the rest of the crew, and uh, just decided to continue to be in this thing we call the gospel industry. Uh, <laughs> I have new music coming out um, with the Canton Spirituals. I wrote a new song uh, for uh, Harvey Watkins that features Al Green. It's called Hallelujah Anyhow. It should be hitting radio like really soon with Malico Records. And uh, as soon as this, as soon as we can get get back close again, we trying to start on the Mississippi Masses new album. So I'm very excited about that as well. On top of E1 and uh, the whole roster there, which uh, Jabari I already mentioned his song, a great song. If you don't have it, go get it. Uh, also, yes, Dietrich Haddon has new music. Uh, Jonathan McReynolds dropped not that long ago. Uh, we just have a lot of great things happening. So go check it out. And I'm I'm telling you, this call has been dope. It's my first time being on and uh, hearing everybody's perspective. And uh, all, all these legends, even though uh, Ernest does a lot of convention talk, he's pretty good tonight. But I, I just want to say <laughs> that. Uh, Expose it. Expose these, it. These arrows that have been going we back and forth between these two tonight. We expose it. Man, I, I, but, you know. I Google think, me. Uh, I think Jason was talking about turn turned down. I sent a song to uh, Ernest, and he turned me down. But he ended up going on the mass record. But, you know, to God be the glory. We thank you. In advance wow. for everything you've done. So, <laughs> this is what we, this wow. what we do. We expose it on Wow, here. Ernest. Wow. <laughs> His association. His association. <laughs> I'm going to say, you Man, did? Like nah, yeah, I did. He turned me down flat, but that's all right, though. You know, well, God, is Jay, God is I able. I said James Hall a song, and he turned it down, too. That's oh, what they do. Oh, that's what these stars oh, do. Oh, that's right, what yeah. James Hall do. He said he can't use it. But anyway, it's okay. Move it. Okay. Moving on. That sounds like <laughs> he did it. But anyway, time. go ahead, Stan. Go ahead. No, but I'll just say in closing, I've had a great time. And uh, uh check out our roster uh, at Entertainment One. We got a lot of great new music uh coming out, and that is out now. So yeah, it's been a pleasure being here. Yeah, I love it, man. Jay Clay, man. Tell us the Jay Clay new music video. Just came out today, man. Tell us about that. Yeah. And we're gonna go um, watch it as soon as we get off. I'm going to watch it. I'm um, going God, to God made it beautiful. Um, it's crazy because I wrote this song a couple years ago and I, I'm able to put it out on my choir featuring my blood sister Daria Raymore, who is a crazy vocalist. Um, but it just talks about um God taking your situation from ashes and making it beautiful. So it's um it's a, a ballad. I've been dropping stuff. I just signed my label signed to Ty Scott. So I don't just have a label deal, but J Clay Music is signed to Ty Scott. Shout out I to the whole it. Ty Scott family. Um, oh. And um, I have music videos. Oh, the, my last song, Praise Belongs to You, it charted in the top 30. Um, it's, been yeah. a, it, it's, it's been an enjoyable journey just learning this and now coming into my artistry from being a writer all of this time right now has been awesome. Um, but uh, praise belongs to you. Creator is on is out as well. Um, music videos to both their songs. But God made it beautiful. J uh, video dropped today. The song drops at midnight tonight, so you can grab the song on all we'll platforms. Go Good. get Sam Franklin. Set my feet on a rock yeah. right now. Go get um, Lisa Knowles. Great big God. Um, uh, go get that right now. I got my pen on that. Kevin Lemon's album about to come out. Um, and Earth, uh, everybody else, man. I'm just glad to be a part of this industry and be a part of the, um, of, of gospel music, man. But yeah, my my single drops tomorrow. God made it beautiful, and you can watch the music video right now. It dropped at eight o'clock on YouTube, so everybody go. I'm grab going to get it. Congratulations! Get it. And the I'm, song I'm drops. You. you can pre you can pre order it. God made it beautiful right now. I, I, okay. I bet. So, Listen, man, with all of these pioneers, shout out to everybody that's been in the room all night rotating back and forth. I see the love. Thank y'all for the hearts. Keep, keep them coming. If I have any last minute questions, if one of these guys want to answer, we will answer it. Um, but we are about to go in, in real shortly. 
but because but this has been nothing but great for me. Um, I'm grateful to all of you gentlemen who take time out of your busy schedules. Um, I know it's a pandemic and most of us aren't doing much anyway, but I think, but you still could be doing a whole lot, you know, on a Thursday night, other than being on here to talk. I had several things to do tonight. <laughs> <laughs> right, because because unlike some other states, New York is back opening up. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so, oh, I had several things to do tonight. So, yo, bro, I really know D. James Hall, man. I'm telling you, man. I've been watching this guy. Um, the way I run my choir rehearsal is because of this man to this day. And Say, nah, let, leave that alone. Go back to what you were saying. I'm sorry. But, but I'm, I'm, I'm just going. I'm going to tell the truth. I'm going to tell the truth. I've learned a lot from this man, and I thank him. Oh, uh, I thank him so much for not uh, thinking of robbery for being out with us and rocking with us tonight. <laughs> this dude is, is a pioneer in, in the game, and I and I don't take him for granted, and I hope no nobody does. But with that, oh, being they do. Said, Many oh. take me for granted. <laughs> many take me for granted. That's exactly no what way. I was trying to many. get to. I knew he was going to no. go there. With Name him, James. I knew he was going to go Name there. Name him. Charlie, don't make me pull out my list. James, I'm go on. Go on. Don't I make them pull out my list. I got a list. I got a book. I got a book. Go ahead. Go ahead. Name him. Oh go ahead. We, we'll be here till tomorrow. Don't do it. Stop at the top. Ernest. Anyway, let me not write. I'm going to leave it, Ernest. We gonna leave oh, it. I was gonna tell him to go with the top five, but never mind because it might blow your mind. But, but in this new, that's the price of a trendsetter, though, James. That's okay, yeah. buddy. Yeah, Sorry. you are, man. Mm -hmm. you're a trend, definitely. Sorry, you're a trendsetter for real. Definitely. No I doubt. Music will be saying best. Best to yeah. ever do it. James changed years the game. And years and years, you changed the game, bro. He I did. Say, hey, man. My say, pastor's a huge fan. For his, oh my for God! His, yes. For his lane, for his lane, the best to do it. There's the, the when you create. This is the good thing about creation. When you create uh -huh. something, you ain't got to worry about nobody else coming behind because you just that's started that's it. Everybody else is following the trail. Right. You blazed that's it already, right. dog. You blazed it. So yeah. that's why you should be a trend. Uh, uh, you should not follow trends. Be a trendsetter. But exactly. that's right. moving on from that, last point I want to help somebody in here before we go what is some things you guys are going to be doing or you feel we should be doing to help generate some funds to our, I know y'all said radio is one um now that we can't do concerts and we can't invite people like like that what are some other means you think that these artists should be doing to make um resources for themselves virtual flows I've been doing about probably you know, three to five virtual worship floats, which means I record a worship set in my house. And sometimes I just reach out to pastor friends of mine and say, hey, I would love to do a worship flow for your yeah. set. And I send them my scale of what I do. And so I, I'm serious. It, it really, it, it, it surprisingly can keep you very busy when you let people know that you're offering that service. Yeah. Anybody else want to add to that? Yeah, also, too, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can have six projects, but if there are songs that kind of like touch what's going on now, pull those mm -hmm. songs up and post them. Make people that's aware good. about them again. It could be something that's yep. old, but that's another way that very you can encourage people true. and also make money as well. Very, very good. good. That's very smart. And play your videos. Rather y'all know it, when you play a video, I know they're listening mm -hmm. with their ear, but they're also streaming with their eye. So your right. streaming checks, anything over 10,000, they will cut you a check. Mm. Yeah. Play your videos where? Where? You talking about YouTube? On YouTube, YouTube. on your YouTube okay. page. But now I've been able to monetize my Facebook page as well. So those mm -hmm. streams come like every, you get those like every 90 days, those checks do come. Amen. 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 Quarterly. I love it. Drop, so drop anybody want? People love that. They'll pay for knowledge. Sure we pay for we pay we pay for what we don't know. That's why we take our parts uh -huh. to the mechanics. We pay for what we don't know. Stan, you want to add anything to that executive? No, they pretty much said it all. Uh, but what what is interesting is that people are still recording, making records. So uh, yeah. you know, uh -huh. if you're getting placements, and uh, you know, if home sent people sending tracks all over. 
all over the place and still getting the albums done. So there's still work out there for sure. And I think Ernest definitely mm-hmm. said about the streaming on YouTube. You know, get your stuff out there and uh, let the people know what's happening. Yeah. I heard somebody say, a veteran say before that it's a poor dog that don't bark on his own front porch. And you're yeah, right about that. There's a lot of people who have content, but we don't even know nothing about it. So That's true. It's, yeah, you, it's, you got to promote yourself. Again, if you don't have a team to do so, do it yourself. That's, That's I don't right. know why. Exactly. I don't know why. There's two. I don't know why. I don't know why in the world our culture has made it bad for, has made people feel bad about promoting themselves. I don't yeah. know why. Why? Why? Yeah, why the spirit. I don't. Uh. I don't feel bad. I don't know. Yeah. People ask. People used to ask me, Stan, why do you like your own pictures? So I'm. I'm like. I like it. That's why. I, I like, like it. Like exactly. it. I, like it. Exactly. I like it. Exactly. I like it. That's why I like that. So I, I don't. I don't. Anybody else want to add something to that? I don't like my own pictures. You don't like your own picture, Jay? No. no I do. <laughs> you, what about you, Jay? You, you gonna want to add something to it? So, uh, oh, with no, that, I'm, no, he I'm said saying. no, Jay. He said no. Stop right. You said no. I don't like my own pictures. I saw the no. We talked about the no earlier. You said no. Ernest, Pugh, do you like your own pictures? No. <laughs> see, okay. I, I just want to know. Ernest I Pugh, and and Ernest Pugh ain't telling the truth because I've seen him under one of his pictures before. But anyway, okay, you're right. You're right. Support yourself. <laughs> uh, support yourself is my point. And mm. and what I want um other artists to know, well, all the artists here, I mean not you guys, but the artists that are in the room, Facebook. And Instagram have some very good tools for you to market your stuff and push yourself. They do. Out. They do. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have no money, get you a job and learn and get start you up a business page. <laughs> Amen. And, and start because right now they're not calling you for gigs. So I know you can't charge your regular honorariums of a thousand or two thousand, exactly. whatever you get it. Exactly. So now get you a job and learn how to invest and get good quality work done good. for yourself. Amen. Pay, don't be afraid to invest. Once again, this goes back into the, the investment thing and use these platforms that we have to get yourself out there. If you just post it on your page and you only have 500 followers, only those 500 will see. You may right. want to sponsor it so that people Jesus. who are not following you can good. see everything that you got going on. So that's good. my two cents. That's really good. Can I, te- can I tell you to in, in, invest in in being able to do things without having to go to studios and do all of that. Exactly. I, you know what I mean? I got my own setup at the crib. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so invest, invest in yourself when it comes to that too. And then find some young cats that's hungry that don't know how to do what you do. That's the other thing too. Find a young cat, pay him up, you know, seven, eight hundred dollars to shoot videos and, and know how to edit and know how to do all yep. of that stuff. And mm-hmm. so that money that you, you know, Give up them Jordans and them red bottoms for a minute, and and and, and put that money into your 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 ministry and your work to make okay. sure that you know you stay ahead of the curve. Somebody's like, man, Jay, how you keep dropping videos? That's why it's because I found young cats, you know what I mean, right. that, that know how to do you it. You a baller? No, nah, I mean I ain't no baller. <laughs> I'm blessed. You know what I mean? But <laughs> listen, but, but claim it, claim ball. it. But, well, I claim it, but, but what I'm saying is find them young cats, man, that, that are exactly. hungry, that, that, that want to grind hungry. up and want to grind That's up hungry. with Keyword. you. Keyword. You know what I mean? They want to grind up with you, and then don't take advantage of them. Pay them, man. And, don't. And, pay them. And, and, and invest in them, man. And then that way, when it's time and you ain't got the bread to do it, they'll they'll look out. They'll look out. And I want to say I'm, that we, we get ready to go, but that's important. We got, we got, we got, because we got, we got to go. Got to go. Got to go. James, I want to let you oh know, this God. is why you had to come back on here tonight, because all through the night, all through the chat, everybody, James Hall is hilarious. James, I guess y'all never saw this part of side of him. This yeah, is what this he does. Is He's a, a pimp. This is what he does. This is what he does. This is, this is how he is on the normal. I know. But people don't get to see this side of you, James. You know they don't because you know they don't get to see this side. So this is good that they see this. But moving on from that, um, uh, what uh, Marcus Brooks did have a question. I want to. I w- do want to answer his last question. This is it. Anybody can take this. Marcus Brooks said, "Question: If a person wanted to submit a song for a project, what are the steps to take?" 
Any one of y'all want to take that? I say um, just get my email address, get one of my email addresses and just send it and let, allow us to uh, sit on to listen to it, you know? I, I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all, that's one thing that I'm working on right now, creating is a, we don't have it. We don't have it as a network where we can get songs to the artist and to the label. That's great. So that's great, man. I, I'm wor I'm working on building a, a network like the CCM artists. Have. Do it, Jay. And that's, I'm working that'd be on, amazing. You'll I'm, be the bridge I'm to really, connect them. Yes, I'm working on doing that. So all the writers and everything, I I submit songs, other people's songs to projects too. So if you want to get them to me, it don't matter. I submitted, I got the victory to Ricky Dillard's album. You know what no. I mean? So that song, Jesse Williams from St. Louis, my brother Jesse Williams wrote that song. And Ricky Damn. asked me, and Ricky asked me, um, you know, I need a churchy tune. I said, well, hey, look, it don't have to be me to write it. There's a mm -hmm. song that's been killing our church on a regular, and here's that song. So it ended up, I had, I gave Ricky both of the singles for that 10 album. So I'm saying right. there's nobody that's, that has a network yet in gospel music. And, and I'm, I'm working on that. So, you know, so that you can, somebody can be the connector to these labels. Cause there's a lot of great material out here that we're missing out on that people have some really I great agree. songs. I agree, man. And we're going, anybody else want to add anything before we close out? Yeah, I, I want to say, I want to say right quick that uh, one of the, most effective ways is building relationships and creating and uh, a way to invest in yourself like show up at these events and build relationships with people and just say hi you don't have to bombard them with music all the time just be cool and 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 be uh rememberable to a point to where people want to ask you like what do you do like are you a writer and 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 you can uh then get their information and they'll you know, you can send us music and all that kind of stuff. But mm -hmm. a lot of times, to be honest, giving out emails, I, which I found out, I've, I've seen it happen a bunch of times. I was talking to Bishop Marvin Sapling. You know, if you pay attention, he's been doing that, I think his last couple of albums, this album. The he album, has. This one. Yes, he has. He, he put out his information and, and asked for submissions. And I think one time he got over 400 songs and he might have found like three or four out of the whole 400 song. So a, a lot of times, a lot of people don't want to go through that. But if you take advantage of every opportunity and be great at every opportunity, whether it's big or small, I promise you, your gift will make room for you. And that's just how it always sure works. Will. Wow, that's amazing. That even encouraged me, Stan. <laughs> that's amazing <laughs> but listen i what, what what stan said what all of these brothers have shared with all of these pioneers these are pioneers man I'm, I'm telling you they do not have to be here tonight they could be anywhere and enjoying their their yacht somewhere like you know and sitting <laughs> yeah. just, just sitting just sitting pretty you know but these dudes are out here to pour into you tonight so for people that say that these artists don't give back their dog on lie they're giving back Thanks. And this is the time Stupid. to take advantage. <laughs> <laughs> Who keeps saying that, man? That's Charlie. That's Charlie. That's Charlie. <laughs> Don't do that, James. Don't call me on. Yeah, because they. Don't do I, that. People, I know people think it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Please take no. the time out, artists, um, people that want to do this on a professional level, to invest in yourself. Remember, yeah. you're going to be your first everything. You're going to be your first manager, you're going to be your first supporter. You're going to be your first follower. But if you, right. do that to, if you do that to the best of your ability, somebody will come along and see what you're doing and catch on. That's I'm telling well. you, people that would yeah. not even give me a call back a couple of years ago, I have their personal cell phone numbers now. You Name know why? Em. Because I, nev Name I never em. quit. <laughs> Name them. Name them. No, because somebody on here may be like, I don't have the numbers, so I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, point yeah, is, yeah, yeah. That's cool. go ahead, James. It's getting late. No, I'm saying it's getting late. Dexter, ah, Dexter, ah, Dexter ah, has yawned four times. I've watched Dexter. Dexter, 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 are you tired, Dexter? Has yawned, Dexter has yawned four times. Dexter, you tired? Four <laughs> Dexter, are you tired? We boring you, Dexter? Yo, James, <laughs> we boring you? Are we boring you? Listen, James, James, James get off go. here. James, you gotta go. He is talking about this boy. This I went back to the gym today. 
I went back to like Dexter. Him finally today. I'm worn out. I, no, That's I like understand. Dexter. Tell, but Dexter, on, speak up. Tell them you got to go. Dexter, <laughs> they nice make it seem like I'm the only one. They making it seem I'm like I'm the only one. You are the only one, James. You are the only one. Mikey Dover is cold. Mikey Dover is cold. See, we got to go. We love y'all. Tell them, tell them everybody, if y'all don't know where to follow these guys, go follow Ernest Pugh. Tell them where to follow y'all at, and we out here. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, MySpace. MySpace? MySpace. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. James, remember that? Remember that? In that meeting, we're not going back to that. <laughs> Please, leave that alone, Trayvon. <laughs> Hard like as a nickel. Okay, anyway, uh, Black, so Black Planet, where can they follow you at? Where can they follow you at? <laughs> he said on yeah, Junebug.com. Junebug.com. Who's that? That's your new name on there? Oh, I'm joking. Ernestfew.com. <laughs> I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up. Your face better not be there. Better no. not. <laughs> Help us tonight, God. Yo, stop. Tell them your Instagram so we can go. <laughs> My Instagram is James Jazzy Hall. And you can okay. find me there. You can find me um, on uh, Twitter, James Jazzy Hall. I'm on Facebook. Y'all can find me there. Yeah, that's good. That's Dexter. If you type in my name, you can find me. I'm all, on all social media platforms. Dexter Walker, Zion Movement. Charles. Uh, the Charles Perry on uh, Instagram and uh, The Charles Perry Music on Facebook. Thank you. Jay Clay. Jay Clay 44, J-A-Y-C-L-A-Y 44. I follow all of these people out here. Some of them don't follow me yet, but hopefully. Oh, oh. Do. What's my name? Say they name. 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 Say they name, Jay. I'm going to say they name. Say they name. Say they name. So I'm, saying, hey, 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 hey. Don't follow hey. yeah, don't follow I'm following right now, Doc. No, I'm, no, I'm following right now. Right now. <laughs> He's fixing it right now. He's fixing it right now. It's good. But, uh, but yeah, J Clay 44, you type in Jason Claybourne, don't. you can follow me on all social media. Don't. media sites. Don't. He ain't following don't. me either now. I just want y'all to know that. Yes, I, I am. am. Oh. Don't you do that? I'm definitely you not following Stan. Oh, y'all oh, need to stop. Why you got to say it like that, Ernest? We're going to be here all night. Stan go. Jones, tell them. We got to go. Stan Jones. Stan Jones, tell them your social media. Ernest Pugh, mu I'm just kidding. Stan Jones Music at, at on uh, Instagram <laughs> and uh, Twitter and Facebook. Stan Jones Music. I love you, Ernest. Just want to tell you that, man. Ernest, yours, yours, and we out. Oh, Ernest Pugh at uh, all of mine is Ernest Pugh and Ernest is with an A. And that's it on all of them. Okay. Until next time, guys, please remember to live in purpose, on purpose, for the purpose God has in your life. We love you. We'll be back. Peace. Peace. Love y'all. Man. <laughs>